Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> on, on day one, I almost conquered my fear of heights because we had to walk miles and miles and miles along a little platform that was about that wide. To your right was death. To your left was a freezing aqueduct. <laughs> but I knew as we were walking down another pathway when the bulls came running, it was all going to be okay. It was a good sign. We um, hiked to the bottom of a glacier. Can you believe that? We slipped. Uh, and it was freezing cold in those sleeping bags. Um, but it was just absolutely beautiful to wake up and see that snow-capped mountain right next to us. And of course we had to hike through frozen streams and frozen, um, I wouldn't say frozen rivers, but there was ice on, on the edges of the rivers too. And uh, we hiked up, 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 up. And I loved hiking up, but when it came to, to hike down, I was, I was, my fear of heights came up and grabbed me again. Uh, so hiking down, I was too incredibly slow, and um, I got the Peruvian Cadillac, the horse. He carried me down the mountain. That was pretty nice. <laughs> I enjoyed it. And that was kind of a grueling day. It took, took all day long. We, we hiked for over 10 hours, and we only stopped for maybe you know, 40 minutes for lunch and two breaks, two 10 or 15 minute breaks, so we hiked all day long. Day three was a really pleasant hike. It was um, really enjoyable because we had time to enjoy uh, the flora and the fauna and the forest and, and the cool air and the um, forest cover. It was a slower pace. We had a much easier hike. And so as a result, it wasn't exhausting. We had a lot of laughter on the trail that day and, and we were laughing about how everybody was sore in every place except their earlobes. Um, then that night when we got into camp, we went to um, some hot springs and it was just absolutely wonderful to, to be able to soak in hot water for a couple of hours and take a shower. <laughs> what a luxury to have a shower if you haven't had one in, in three days. And then that night, uh, they built a bonfire in the campground. All of us danced around the bonfire for hours until the electricity went out and we didn't have music anymore. But we managed to um, pour four, pull four bottles of wine from their inventory at the campground. That was a lot of fun. Then, then the next day was a, was a relatively easy hike. It, it got hot. Uh, but the nice thing about it is all of the botanical all the flowers and the orchids and the bromeliads and um, gosh, the begonias, the birds of paradise, all of these beautiful flowers just growing in the wild. Some, our cook climbed a tree and got avocados and passion fruit and it, it's just it's everywhere. All this beautiful beauty is all around us and I'm happy to be here. Thanks honey, I love you. We were talking in Coricancha about some places that have some interesting energy. 
interesting feeling in that. So this was one of those cities, one of those places as well. You know, that's why at some point the Incas, you know, the Incas make up beautiful astronomical observatories with special, you know, relationships with the sunrise, you know? And also, you know, beautiful terraces that have important relation as well with the sunrise. You know, if you look at this place, you know, these terraces are going, you know, are pointing to the east, you know? Because, you know, the sun has a special, you know, function you know, to grow many different crops in this point. Say hello to your friends. Huh? It's amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Huh? Because those two windows have a special relationship with the solstice. You know? We have the east in that way. And when the sun rises, get out, guys. You know, the rays go to that window. And you see some, oh, sorry, winter solstice. You know? And then, you know, when the rays go to another one, it is, you know? We had two beautiful days up at Machu Picchu. Gorgeous, sunny, warm days. But on the third day, it was raining. We had been to the mineral baths. We had had our massages. And now, what was left was our final dinner. Regina, how was your dinner last night here? At the treehouse. Best dinner I've had in Peru, without really? doubt. Why was that? <laughs> because the food was tasty, delicious. What did, what did you have? Um, I had the quinoa risotto. Oh, it was good. absolutely delicious. Awesome. And the trout sashimi. Trout, it was prepared sashimi. Yes, style. sashimi. Yeah, it's a kind of tiradito sashimi. Yeah. Mwah. <laughs> 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 really good. <laughs>